And this is one of our issues where we tend to say we don't have any money to invest in ourselves, but for some reason we can find money to do other things. Let's say you're going to treat yourself to a Beyonce concert, all right? And you're going to get that $1,000 ticket. Let's put that on the board. That's a thousand dollars already right there. I know you're gonna have to get cute. That means you gotta get your hair done or your hair did. If you were dude, you might be able to get away with fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, depending on how fresh your cut gonna be, okay? But if you a lady, you already know how much you're gonna spend on that hair. Especially, okay, if you're natural, you might get away with a hundred dollars. But if you got that weave, a sewing, depending on that hair quality. Honey, Miss Honey, let's keep it real. You might be spending at least a minimal of $250, and that's a hookup. But I remember paying $1,200 for hair uh, extensions back in 2006. So let's just put a thousand for the hair, okay? Maybe, you know, you somewhere between 250 and a thousand, but let's just put that on the board, okay? Then you got to do your outfit. You know we got to get fly. You know we got to get cut Now, if you're not a fashionista and you understand that you make the clothes, the clothes don't make you, you might be able to get away with something for like 100, maybe 150, depending on the shoe. But if you're one of those fashionistas that cannot step out the house without being labeled down, I already know you're spending at least another thousand put it on the board. Then you got your manicure and your pedicure, depending on the shoe. You know you got to have your nails looking good. Your toes got to look good. Sometimes you got to get the lashes. Let's put that on the board, okay? Eyebrows, all of the extra stuff. And then what about before you go to the concert, you got to have that drink. You know, them refreshments. You and your girls might go out or you and your guys might go out. Y'all gonna spend at least 50 to 100 on some drinks, or maybe you might ball out at the concert and buy something there. Let's put that on the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see the math. See that math? Now, if you can afford this ticket, then you can afford to invest in yourself. And what you have to ask yourself right now, baby, keep it 100 with yourself. You can lie to everybody else, but I beg you not to lie to yourself. And this is for some of those people that might say, oh, I'm going to the Beyonce concert because she inspires me. She motivates me. Okay, good. That's good. She can't break your soul, but she going to break your bank. So my thing is break the bank for yourself. You feel me? If you understand what I'm talking about, give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, give me the thumbs down. It is all good. You never have to agree with me. You grown, spend your money how you want. We can agree to disagree. But again, the point here is a safe space for us to keep it real with each other. You don't have to answer me, but you got to answer yourself. If you got the money for her, you got to find the money for you and yours, period. All right, I'm done. I told you I was rejuvenated. <laughs> I wonder how many times I'm going to say rejuvenated this year. But baby, I am back and we're going to deal with these issues. So please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and share my videos. Come on now.